And I tweeted this provocatively. I said, uh, you know, when you go to vote, do you want to vote for the, the candidate whose followers would stop to help you change a tire in a dangerous neighborhood? Or would you rather vote for the candidate who um, wouldn't do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, ba- basically, you could break it down. You could make it simpler and just say, how about the candidate who wouldn't do that? You know, their followers, not the candidate. And uh, when you watch the, uh, the rallies, do you see any angry people at a Trump rally? You really don't, do you? And there, there was a, uh, a trans... Um, I, I never know the right vocabulary, so I will... I will I will couch this by saying, I don't know the right vocabulary, but I'm not trying to be insensitive or anything else. But a somebody who identified themselves as a uh, trans person said that uh, I'm wrong and that um, it would be more dangerous for this trans person to be in a Republican neighborhood than in a Democrat neighborhood. Do you believe that? Do you believe it would be more dangerous for a transsexual individual to be in a Republican neighborhood than in a Democrat neighborhood? I mean, you know, we're just looking in general as a general average. I don't feel like that's even close to being true. Indeed, um, let me state something that might surprise you a little bit. But from the first moment that Trump was running for president, and maybe, or you can say from the time he got nominated, uh, let's say from the time he got sworn in. Have you heard any Republicans saying anti-gay stuff? Because I haven't. It's like Republicans just stopped caring completely. And why wouldn't they? Is there a Republican that thinks they should be in your pants? No, no. There are no Republicans who think that they should have a vote about your genitalia. Now, they were concerned about gay marriage at one point. That seems to have passed. But that was more about their tradition, you know, their religious tradition. It wasn't so much anti-gay. I know you think it is, and certainly I'm in favor of gay marriage, so I was never on that side. But it was a, it was more about them preserving something that they thought was their you know, special cultural thing. It wasn't anti-anything, in my opinion. That's just my take on it. But I've not seen anything that would even suggest, even remotely, that Republicans are somehow anti-LGBTQ. I don't see it at all in real life. 